everyone, I'm Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen, and tonight we're going to be prepping mushrooms for a vegan creamy pasta recipe that's really yummy. It's creamy mushroom pasta. So I have 16 ounces of portobello mushrooms that are already cut up, and we're going to put them in a container. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce and two teaspoons of liquid smoke. And I like the hickory flavor. You can use any flavor you like. And two cloves of garlic that I minced. And that's it. Now, I like to marinate everything overnight for the best flavor. So that's why we're doing this tonight. We're gonna come back and eat it tomorrow because I'm gonna let it shake it all about. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and wait until you see it tomorrow because it will absorb all of this marinade and it will look like way less mushrooms than right now. But every time I go in the fridge between now and tomorrow night when we make this for dinner, I'm gonna shake it. I always do that with tofu, with everything. Just shake it, shake it, shake it, and I put it back in the fridge. So if you go in there for a glass of water or if you go in there for a, I don't know, an apple, a what? Beer. A beer? No, I wouldn't go in there for a beer. If you went in there for a beer, you would need to shake the mushrooms. So we'll see you tomorrow when we make creamy vegan mushroom pasta. Okay, the mushrooms marinated overnight. And as you can see, they absorbed all the fluid and it looks like there's less mushrooms, like I said. Um, I started the pot of water boiling. We are going to use linguine today, whole grain, one ingredient. All there is is whole wheat in here. And we're going to use half of it. So this is eight ounces of pasta. And we have other ingredients. We have three different pans. We're going to cook the mushrooms separate because we don't want them in the sauce because they kind of stand apart because they're um, so smoky and good all on their own. They're kind of like very meaty. The pasta water is starting. We're going to make some cashew cream. Now, for those of you who don't like to cook with nuts, you can replace the cashews with silken tofu. You can also use a quarter cup of flour instead. All it is is a thickening agent and it makes it creamy. So I have a quarter cup of raw cashews. I have a half a cup of vegetable broth. I have two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And I have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And we're going to put that in the blender. In the meantime, I'm going to turn this pot on to make the sauce because the mushrooms don't take long to cook and the pasta only takes about seven to eight minutes. So we're going to put the top on here. And then I am going to add to this pan for the sauce one shallot minced one leek diced make sure when you do leeks that you separate your um, layers because there's dirt a lot of times in between there you don't want to get dirt in your food and ruin your whole dish and i have four cloves of garlic that are minced and we're going to let that cook for a couple minutes while i'm making the cashew cream So we're going to move this around a little bit and then I am going to add a quarter cup of white wine. I buy those tiny little Chardonnay bottles that are in the um, wine section. They're like little, <laughs> they aren't Rambauer. It's just a dry white wine. If you don't want to use wine, you don't have to use wine. You can use grape juice, you can use vegetable broth, you can use lemon juice. Or you can use vinegar so you don't if you don't use wine when you cook that's okay too now the minute i put it in there you can notice it starts to sizzle and we're going to caramelize these leeks and onions and or i mean leeks and shallots and garlic and we're going to wait until this vegetable broth i'm sorry not the vegetable broth the wine dissipates so if you can see it's kind of evaporating and cooking into the shallot mixture then we're only going to add 
about a half a cup of, two, you use two total cups of vegetable broth, and we're just going to put about a half a cup in. And we're going to, again, wait until this dissipates a little bit. And now I'm going to turn on, actually, I'm going to put my pasta in. Three burners. I know. Okay, to make your pasta fit in the pan, you know how your pasta doesn't fit in the pan? Break it in half. That's the secret. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Move that around. Okay, and as this is going, you can see that there's a lot of moisture still, so we're going to wait a little bit for it to dissipate. I'm going to turn the other burner on, and I have our marinated mushrooms that I did overnight. And I'm going to put those in the pan. And if there's any extra marinade, which there's not a lot, you're going to want to put that into the pan as well. So you want to dump the whole thing in there. And they smell like smoky. Paul thought there was bacon in the house. <laughs> uh, didn't you, Paul? He did. Okay, now that this is bubbling, I'm going to take two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're going to whisk that into this mixture. until it kind of melts, I would say, or melds with the mixture. And it's supposed to be pink, obviously. Hmm? Spoon nope, hmm? gotta whisk it together so it's all combined. Paul's gonna tell me how to cook. <laughs> then you're gonna put the remaining vegetable broth in and we're going to bring that to a boil and we will be right back because you don't want to watch my pot boil. Once the mixture starts to boil, we're going to add the cashew cream and you want to cook it down until it gets thick and it takes a couple of minutes. So we have about four minutes left on the pasta, about four minutes left on the mushrooms, so we'll come back when it thickens, but you need to be patient. So we're waiting for the mushrooms to have all this liquid dissipate. The pasta is done, so we're going to rinse, or not rinse that, we're going to put it in a colander. And then from the calendar, we are going to check out the sauce, how it thickened. That's what it's supposed to look like. So it's thick and a little chunky. And then we're going to add the pasta to the sauce. Get all those little noodles in there. And then... You want to toss the pasta in the yummy sauce. And then we're going to stir these around. They're almost done. Now see when all of this liquid starts to go away, the mushrooms are finished. Perfect timing. So now we're going to plate it up for the Paul test. Now the sauce is so good in this um, pasta that you want to really like get every little bit of it so i suggest serving this with bread and paul do you like bread I do. you I do bread? you do get bread yes you do whole grain bread of course but you get bread all right so we're going to make sure all this heat is off and we're going to make paul his little pasta dish Did it again. Just leave it. No, I can't just leave it. I can't do it. Never fails. We should call me Kathy the messy server. Okay. Then 
And you're going to add some of these lovely mushrooms on top because it is a creamy mushroom pasta. And they are the star of the show, but they're not participating. So I'm going to get a different spoon. Oh, they're so good. I can smell them. They smell smoky. And then we're going to garnish with a little bit of parsley. Got to get a little green stuff. Now, you can add other veggies to this, too. It doesn't make any difference. And then we're going to serve that with some bread for Paul. And here you are. Mushroom, creamy mushroom pasta. And we'll be back for Paul to taste test to see if he likes it. Okay. Creamy mushroom pasta? Creamy mushroom pasta. Okay. Got some creamy pasta. Now I have a mushroom. Star of the show. Star of the show. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Don't burn yourself. Oh. You just pulled the part. Mmm. <laughs> wow. You know what your mom would say? What? Oh, Kathy. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thank we'll you. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment and mention Bread. creamy mushroom pasta in the comments. Bye.